Hey guys, Rick, Cletus, and the boys coming at you from the Heartbeat Model Shop. Uh, guys, this is uh, opposite Jack's Con this last past past weekend, and my old good buddy Rick Zink at Skeletal Remains. Uh, we got together and was we was discussing uh, uh, YouTube and how long we've been on it and uh, kind of discovered a few things uh, we have in common that we both joined YouTube in 2014. Uh, like I say, we're both born the same year, both birthdays the same month, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so we decided that we were going to do a 10 year anniversary. Uh, we both joined uh, toward the end of the year on the uh, Chevy Cheeseburger box stock build. And uh, we decided that uh, we're going to start this uh, anytime from now to whenever you want to get started on it. And we're going to end it on, I think it's uh, around December 15th. So it gives me plenty of time to, uh, to, get, to get her done. And uh, like I said, we just uh, uh, decided that uh, we would do a 10-year anniversary. And uh, my first bill for the CB Cheeseburger build off was a 41 Willis and uh, of course you guys know me you know how much I love my Willis's but over the last 10 years I've built about I don't know six of them seven of them love them uh, just uh, just it's just a great kit just falls together uh, so I have what I've decided to do is a month before I did my first video or a couple of months before I discovered my uh, did my first video, I discovered Hobby Lobby. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build do the first build that I did with, since I got back into the hobby. Uh, so what we're going to do is let me set this aside. What we're going to do this was my first build after getting back into the hobby. It's the 37 Chevy Coupe Stove Bolt. Uh, like I said, uh, discovered Hobby Lobby, uh, found the kit. I actually painted it with Creative X opaque green paint. <laughs> and I painted it with my uh, Badger 50, after, no, Badger 200. Yeah, it's a Badger 200 R brush. Now, guys, at that time, Growing up as a kid, there was no, there was no washing parts, there was no primers, there was no, there was none of that. You just bought the model and you bought a can of spray paint. You sprayed, uh, you know, you might spray paint the body or whatever, but uh, it's just the way it was. And, you know, back in the 60s, I mean, it's just, it's just what it was as a kid. Uh, of course, being I just got back into the hobby, I've watched, I had watched a lot of YouTube videos and you guys were just, just it just blew me away that there was actually a channel on YouTube for modeling. So uh, just at that time, it just it just kind of blew me away. And like I said, I uh, discovered Hobby Lobby, and we bought this kit and we put this in the airbrush and sprayed it. No thinner, no no nothing. Now, I mean, it actually didn't come out too bad as far as you know the the finish on it, but uh, we had watched videos and see where people were roughing their tires up to make them look used and all that good stuff. Uh, engine block, you know, painted, stuff like that. But other than that, guys, just it's just a uh, box stock build. Uh, even though, like I say, just getting back into it, I knew I wanted to paint it and was looking for a cheaper way to uh, paint. So that's why we went with this. So what I am going to do is I am going to build a stove boat gasser. Uh, I've had a couple of these in my stash for a while and uh, have been wanting to, uh, to uh, build it. And just uh, every time I go to build it, I like the Willis <laughs> look better and I build another Willis. So uh, we're going to build this gasser kit uh, we're going to build it box dock, but I'm going to see if I can't uh, show the difference in what I've learned over the last 10 years as far as detailing, painting, and stuff like that goes. So not quite sure what color we're going to go with or anything like that. 
Uh, but uh, we're going to uh, we're going to try to we're going to try to build it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to build the gasser. Uh, don't think I'll build the uh, custom. Uh, so I think we'll go ahead and build the gassers. You know, I, I love my gassers. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And uh, like I said, with my old buddy Rick, and uh, seems like ten years was such a long time ago. To be honest with you, lots lots gone on in ten years. Uh, so. Uh, that's going to be my build for the 10 year anniversary. Uh, anybody out there I want to join in, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I've heard from Todd H at Lugnuts Garage, and I think he joined in uh, 2014 also. So I think he's going to join us. So if there's anybody out there that wants to join, hey man, feel free to join. Just like I said, not due to December, we're not going to do our videos to December 15th. So it gives you almost a whole year. Uh, you know to do it so it's it's not a it's it's not a group buddy build it's just uh we're a couple of us going to get together and then just do a 10 year anniversary but if you all want to join in hey man the more the merrier and uh should be a fun build so rick thanks for thinking of it i'll be honest with you i knew the 10 year anniversary was coming up but i hadn't thought about it so uh like i said uh, we was at the jack's con show uh, this past weekend and we talked about it and it's this, so this is what we decided we're going to do So like I said anybody want to join man more than more the merrier and uh, We'll uh, we'll get an update video as soon as we can We got a couple things going on at the moment So it might be a couple weeks two or three weeks before we get started on it and figure out what color paint we're going to go with and all that so uh, uh, I guess that's it everyone heartbeat model shop me and Ocletus and the boys uh, We'll catch you later